Good morning, students. Welcome to classes on economics of capital market. In this video, we will be discussing about classification of financial assets. Financial assets can be classified differently under different circumstances. On the basis of marketability, we can classify financial asset into two marketable assets and non marketable assets. First, let us focus on marketable assets marketable assets are those assets which can easily be transferred from one person to another without much hindrance so marketable assets can be easily traded in financial markets they can be easily exchanged from one person to another without any hindrance so such assets are known as marketable assets Examples of marketable assets are shares of listed companies, government securities, bonds of public sector undertakings, etc. So these assets can be easily transferred or easily marketed in the financial markets. That's why they are known as marketable assets. Now let us move on to the second type of asset, non-marketable asset. Non marketable assets cannot be transferred easily from one person to another. So, non marketable assets cannot be marketed or cannot be traded in the financial market. That's why they are called non marketable assets. Examples of non marketable assets are bank deposits, provident funds, pension funds, national savings certificates, insurance policies etc so i cannot sell or i cannot trade my bank deposit or provident fund or pension fund in the financial markets so these assets are non marketable assets now let us move on to the next classification we can classify financial asset on the basis of form on the basis of form we can classify financial assets into two tangible assets and intangible assets now let us focus on tangible assets tangible assets are also known as physical assets tangible assets are known as physical assets because they have a physical form and the examples of tangible assets are land vehicle equipments machineries furniture inventory stocks bonds and cash so these assets have a physical form we can see and touch these assets that's why they are known as tangible assets or physical assets tangible assets are at risk of damage either from naturally occurring incidents theft or accidents so tangible assets have a physical form therefore it will be at risk of damage from accidents theft or naturally occurring incidents now we can divide tangible assets into two broad categories current assets and fixed assets current assets are inventories or items a company turn into cash usually by the end of the year so current assets will be sold by the company usually at the by the end of the year Whereas fixed assets are physical items that will not be sold by the company at any point in the business. So current assets will be sold by the company, whereas fixed assets will not be sold by the company at any point of time. Let me explain this using an example. Let us assume a cotton textile industry. The end product of the cotton textile industry is cotton clothes. So, cotton clothes are the end products and the company will sell the cotton clothes usually by the end of the year. They will sell all the products usually by the end of the year. So, cotton clothes here, cotton clothes are the current assets because they will, the company will sell cotton clothes by the end of the year. Whereas, the furnitures, the machineries, equipments in the cotton textile industries are fixed assets 
because company will never sell these assets because they are very useful for running the business. So current assets will be sold by the company and fixed assets will not be sold by the company at any point of time. Other examples of tangible assets are raw materials and stocks, furnitures, machineries, land, money, etc. Now let us move on to intangible assets. Intangible assets are known physical items. They have no physical form, such as patents, trademark, franchise, goodwill, and copyrights. So these are intangible assets. They are known as non-physical items, non-physical assets because they don't have any physical form. We cannot touch or see the intangible assets. Intangible assets are generally classified into two broad categories. Limited life intangible assets are and unlimited life intangible assets. Limited life intangible assets have a limited lifespan. For example, patents, copyrights. So, patents and copyrights are for only few years. So, they have a limited lifespan. So, these assets are known as limited life intangible assets. Whereas, unlimited life intangible assets have an unlimited lifespan or long lifespan such as trademark reputation of a company. Uh, trademarks and reputation will stay as long as the company exists. So they are known as unlimited life intangible assets. So now we have seen different classifications of uh, financial assets. On the basis of marketability, we can divide financial asset into two marketable assets and non-marketable assets. On the basis of form, we can divide assets into two, tangible assets and intangible assets. And again, uh, tangible assets can be divided into two, fixed assets and current assets. And intangible assets can be uh, broadly divided into two categories, limited life intangible assets and unlimited life intangible assets. Hope you all understood. Thank you.